Psalm 123, a song of ascents. To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maidservant to the hands of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God till he has mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Our soul has had more than enough of the scorn of those who are at ease, of the contempt of the proud. Well, we continue this series of songs of ascents at Psalms that were uh, said by the pilgrims on the way to Jerusalem. And as we go through this collection of Psalms, really, it's the book of Psalms in, in miniature. We have very similar themes that we've seen in, in other um, uh, in other theme in other, in other Psalms. And that's why um, uh, the book of Psalms is so helpful, because it does give expression to all sorts of human emotions. So uh in the last Psalm 122, we saw the joy uh, of the pilgrims coming into Jerusalem. Here we have uh, the anxiety of being uh, surrounded by enemies. And uh, so verse 1, uh, the psalmist uh, looks to heaven, lifts his eyes uh, to the one enthroned in heaven. We remember uh, in Psalm 121, uh, he looked to the hills and was uh, either looking there for help or was worried uh, of the dangers that were there. But here uh, the psalmist uh, looks to heaven. And um, th very similar, uh, I guess, idea to the Lord's Prayer, our Father who is in heaven. Uh, here he's looking to heaven and uh, he lifts his eyes to you. Um, uh, I, I lift uh, to you, I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in uh, the heavens. Uh, wonderfully bre uh, broad focus. Um, that uh, uh, the God that we're praying to is the God of the heavens. He's exalted. He sees the end from the beginning and he is aware of uh, everything that's going on. So the psalmist, um, as the psalms so frequently do, lifts our gaze from our immediate problem uh, to God who is the uh, solution uh, to our problem. And the posture as the psalmist looks to God is one of waiting. Uh, verse 2. Uh, behold, as the eyes of the servant look to the hand of the master, as the eyes of the maidservant looks to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God till he has mercy upon us. The idea is of, of waiting, uh, waiting on God. And that, that is what prayer is. It's laying our needs before God and then not trying to fix the problem ourselves, but waiting for God uh, to act. And uh, this is uh, a very important theme that continues into the, um, the New Testament. Jesus frequently uh, uh, tells uh, people to watch and pray. Uh, the description of the Christian in Paul's letters is of one who waits. 1 Thessalonians 1 verse 10, we wait for his son from heaven. Philippians 3 verse 20, our citizenship is in heaven and we await uh, our savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our bodies. Christians are waiting people. We're waiting uh, for Jesus to come back. Here, we're, the, the psalmist is waiting for God to act uh, in mercy. And the particular context that he's waiting uh, for God's mercy is the context of uh, contempt and scorn uh, from people around it. Uh, verse 3, have mercy on us, for we have had enough of contempt. Our soul has had enough of the scorn of those who are at ease, of the contempt of the pride. Uh, here is the believer facing insult and uh, contempt. And I think it's very instructive here um, for a number of reasons. Uh, words in, in the Bible are powerful. Um, you know, one of the greatest sins that Israel commits in the desert is to grumble against God. Uh, one of the things that we've seen frequently throughout the Psalms that Christians are to do, that believers are to do, is to give, are to give thanks to God. Our words are important. Um, yes, if our words don't match our deeds, that's, problem, that, uh, that's a problem. But it's not to say that our words are, are, are not important. Words are important. And here, negative words are important. Uh, think of how strong Jesus is in Matthew 5, uh, that uh, the one who says, you fool, is in danger of heaven. Uh, think of the blasphemy of the, uh, 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 against the Holy Spirit. W words are uh, important. What we, what we utter are very important. And here is the words of the enemy 
um, is giving uh, God's people a great problem. And I think it's very interesting to compare this psalm with 1 Peter. Uh, 1 Peter is written to uh, pilgrims scattered throughout the nations. And uh, 1 Peter talks about the fiery trial of persecution. And the temptation is to read 1 Peter and to think that it applies only to our brothers and sisters who might be living in um, uh, places where they are very much in danger of their lives. And it does apply to them, but it also applies to us in our context where the persecution we're facing is the persecution of insult and contempt and scorn. Uh, because uh, 1 Peter uh, verse 4 verse 14, uh, 1 Peter 4 verse 14 talks about um, in the context of the fiery trial, it, it talks about contempt and scorn and insult, and it does that in other places in the letter. And here we see uh, the psalmist crying out to God for mercy because he's facing contempt and scorn uh, from other people. So that's not to minimize the real uh, horrific suffering that our Christian brothers and sisters are facing around the world, but it is to open up the Bible for us, even living in seemingly comfortable West, the, the comfortable West, to realize that uh, contempt and scorn is significant and serious. And the reason it's significant and serious is it can, uh, it can uh, lead us to downplay the gospel, to lose our faith in Christ. Uh, we, we need to face up to it. It is, in, in Peter's words, it is the fiery trial. And so we need to persevere and we need to, like this psalmist, wait on God uh, for mercy to keep going. Let's pray. Oh, Father, we thank you so much for the, uh, the book of Psalms. We thank you for this psalm in particular, how helpful it is uh, for us to keep persevering, uh, to keep waiting on you for mercy uh, in the context of a world where we are often facing scorn uh, for our beliefs. Uh, please help us uh, to be patient and uh, to wait uh, for your mercy and to continue as Jesus um uh, taught us to love our enemies and to return uh, cursing uh, with blessing uh, for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen.